Welcome to the Joint Area Podcast, a podcast where this, we study the lives of <laughs> study the lives of two dads trying to find the balance between the families, hobbies, and work. This week on the Joint Area, we discover. And I, I looked at him and I, and I go, "Hey, man!" I was like, "Don't forget when we walk in this door, play it cool." Let's just search for the meaning of life as it had never been witnessed before. The Joint Area Podcast. Talk. No, I'm not talking. You can't tell okay. me what to do. All right, we're good. Are we? I think so. Yeah, you've been sick all week. So h- how are you recovering? Uh, it's it's mostly good. I'm I'm at the unexpected poop st- stage of the uh, recovery, where like <laughs> at any moment I might just have to cancel this podcast and go take a poop. So. <laughs> What is that? It's not a cold symptom. So what is that? What kind of sickness no, no. is that? This is like you know, it's like you, you start out, you, you're tired at first, and then like you're like tired and sickish, and nasally, and you can't breathe, and then you lose all the sleep, right? Yeah. And then like then like then 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 you have the night where you just sweat through everything, right? And then Ugh. you wake up the next day and you're like ninety five percent, but then you're like you know just unexpected poops so <laughs> yeah yesterday we were supposed to record yesterday when you called me or i or you texted me you're like i'm not 100 percent. i'm like all right let me, let me facetime him and see where he's at and i facetime you and you dude you looked like death <laughs> i was like well, you know let's, let's gotta, postpone this let's postpone this look, i don't put a lot of energy in this podcast so we could have done this from the couch it would have been fine so, no, but you, you look for all those people who like to watch the video. Um, I did, I did, <laughs> I did not want them to see you in that state. Uh, so where did this come from? You, you, your kid bring it home, or what happened? Fucking Ellie, she brought it home, and she was like, you know, like I don't know what the deal is, but like, she, you know, anytime my kids bring something home, right? Yeah. Um, like they get it, and it's like a day or two, and they're done, and they're like. 150 percent the next day yeah. and it's like then jackie and and or i get it and then it's like takes us like twice as long to recover so it just kicks your ass yeah she a bull monkeyed us and um <laughs> but bubs was fine <laughs> but bubs was like and i had to keep reminding him that i was sick because he was like jumping all over me and like he tried to choke me out last night and i couldn't fight him off because i wasn't really strong enough yeah <laughs> and i was I was like, God damn it, man. A six-year-old's going to choke me to death. I got to stop this. So, yeah. Uh, you don't get yeah, choked were, out by a six-year-old. Yeah. He's got those little arms, you know, and he just, he did like the arm bar thing, you know. I don't know if that's the right word, but yeah, see, yeah, now yeah. like, look, I got to take unzip my hoodie because I'm starting to sweat. So, say, not 100%. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we do it for you people, though. We're, we're, we're bringing yeah. it to you live. I mean, yeah, uh, this is, look. You know, I, look, if Michael Jordan could score like a million points when he has the flu, you know, and and uh, Lewis Hamilton could win a F1 race when he's sick. Like I could I could do this podcast. It's, yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know, World class athletes. And then there's us, you know. <laughs> yeah, we're right there. We're right there with them. You know, what I mean, the, you know, yeah, I'm sure the, the documentary is going to come out soon about how you were able to <sighs> do this podcast. You know what I mean? Like how you were able to. <laughs> oh, I, I, I see that face. Dude, like, fuck me. Like, my nose has been stuffed up for like two days, and I took like a, a handful of Dayquil, and and Elvis has also had, I mean, he has been, it's been gross. And um, fuck me, dude, he just farted, and I can't breathe. The one nostril that is working right now is just sucking in dog farts, and I'm like, I can't even take, like... Why do you oh. allow him in the room with you? Why don't you just kick him out? He'll stand at the door and like cry and like bang on it and like so uh, I feel he, bad, he, you know. He, he might smell like hell, but he is my buddy. So did he fall? Does he follow you around the house? Like no matter I gotta, what room? I, 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 no, I gotta open the window. Hold on. Oh, I mean, I'm sweating anyway, so I might as I might as well open the window up. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, you know, let that forty degree weather in while you're sweating. You know, you won't catch pneumonia. No big deal. Maybe a fart will get sucked out the window instead of blowing in my nose. <laughs> this is man. It's like when my nose is working, it's just getting beat up. So, uh, so, anyways, yeah, I'm feeling better. So let's do that, this. Um, <laughs> we are doing it. <laughs> oh, we started. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, fuck. Uh, 
you were able to pull it together last night. I saw and go live on uh, Instagram. Uh, how was that? How was that show? Uh, you, it was uh, the sawdust talk. Yeah, it was, it was cool. Um, I thought I, so that guy, uh, Kyle Brewer, um, he always does these videos where he like jumps off of things, you know? <laughs> yeah. So like I, I jumped off my stool at the beginning of it just to kind of, Oh, like, did you? I missed yeah. it. And, um, and so I did his entrance and dude, my stool is like a foot off the ground and I thought I was going to kill myself. <laughs> And I did, and I did message him beforehand, and I was like, "Look, man, I I know you've had some guests cancel," and I was like, "I'm not gonna be that guy, but I'm not 100." percent I was like, "So I'm just gonna house a handful of Dayquil and do a few lines, and we'll just go." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like, "You could cancel. It's okay." I'm like, "No, nah, no, nah, it's fine." Oh uh, no, it was fun watching you guys on there. Uh, but I bummed I missed you jumping off your stool, man. That would that would have been that would have been the highlight of the night. Yeah, but you know, well, I am an athlete, but um, uh, but you no, know, it's just, it you know, it just sucks because every time I do lives on Instagram, like they, I, I never see what the other people are doing. I always have this spinning ball of death, you know. And yeah, I'm like, because your your internet sucks in your oh, shop. That's why. God, it it, it it's fucking it's distracting, like. <laughs> Dude, he's like fucking. It's like you know, like those those like things that you squeeze to make the fire go, right? Yeah, a bellow. It's called a bellow. How do you know what the name of that thing is? But you don't know what a friggin' shredded uh, <laughs> taco is. Sort of beef taco. I don't, I don't know, man. I just, I just have that knowledge Anyways, in my head. His ass is like a fart bellow right now. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> So, anyways, uh, what was it? I don't, I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, <laughs> you're so you're so all over the place today. Uh, we were talking about uh, we were talking about the live you did oh, last night because I, I yeah. thought that was a uh, it was fun watching you on live. Uh, I yeah. always get so I always get so like I, there's like a weird feeling in my when I'm watching you and I'm not on the live. I'm like <laughs> you know it's just like <laughs> oh you mean like the feeling I get every week? Up, oh, whoa, what just happened? I don't know. My computer just like went away. Oh, anyways, um, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> we didn't just lose like the first half of the podcast, did we? No, 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 I don't no, even know where we started. This is a mess today, dude. We gotta get our shit together. <laughs> if we make it through this <laughs> podcast, it's gonna be amazing. Dude, I thought there was some shit on my screen, and I just started scratching it off. You know, it was the cursor. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I say I'm not a hundred percent. But maybe we should have took this week. Maybe we should have took the week off, bro. <laughs> I mean, we already we did, we did drop an episode, but no, let's say, keep going. <laughs> I've got I, I got a pop quiz question for you. All right, let's hear it. All right, I always I was did, I always did great in pop quizzes in, in school too. By the way, I don't know why I really? just always did. Yeah, yeah. cool. All right, what is Mario's last name? Uh, Mario. Because keep in mind, you Lemieux. Lemieux. It's, is that your guess? Well, you didn't specify which Mario. I just I'm no oh, like said, Super Mario Brothers Mario. Oh, what's Super Mario Brother Mario's last name? Um, yeah, I brothers. You would have thought that. I don't <laughs> think his last name is Brothers. <laughs> I don't know. Mario Brothers, <laughs> right? This podcast is going to be the worst one yet. I love it. No, it's it's um. Oh, right, Mario's last name is Mario. It's his name is Mario Mario. Mario so Mario? Lu- yeah, so Luigi's name is Luigi Mario. <laughs> Where did you find that out? Dude, like, look, this is what a, a, a lot of weed and time gets you. Like, so we went to um, Michigan last weekend, and we stopped through at McDonald's, and the kids got Mario toys uh, in their Happy Meals. And I was sitting there thinking, I'm like, like, if it's Super Mario Brothers, right? That means Luigi and Mario are brothers, right? Correct. Correct. So I'm like, so what's their last name? And I Googled it, and it's Mario. I was like, that feels like a like a lazy answer. <laughs> oh, they're the Mario brothers. Maybe his first name was never Mario to begin with. Uh, it started out, and he was like Madonna or like Cher. It was like just a one-word name, right? Just Mario. And then they got Luigi, and then they started expanding all the characters. <laughs> And they they called it Super Mario Brothers, and and then they were, he was asked like, "Hey, what's his last their last name?" And he and like in in the late eighties, he was like, "It's Mario." So I think he just said it to like shut people up. 
Yeah. <laughs> so it's not, it's not like it's not like a stop asking me questions kind of an answer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Luigi Mario. Oh, yeah. that's too funny, man. I, think I need to hold my fucking finger over the mute button because I can't. Now my nose, <laughs> Elvis's farts have made my nose start to run. Right. And. And it's just like I'm glad he cleared my sinuses, but it's yes, yeah. very uncomfortable. Dude, you're you're on TikTok, right? Yeah, of course. I just so, I just, I just uh, uh, broke three thousand followers on TikTok. Oh wow, jeez. Um, yeah. I'm still I'm still at like four hundred <laughs> followers, uh, but I don't do a lot of posting on there. But uh, Debbie the other day, like she was like, you know that you can go on like lie because I don't I'm not on TikTok that that often. I don't go on it very often. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, she was sitting there the other day, like watching these TikTok lives, and she came across one that I was like, what? I thought it was the craziest thing ever. So these people go on TikTok, right? And they set up these different, like, there'll be like a guy sitting at a chair and then he'll, in front of him, he'll have it, three other chairs and have tiles, like ceramic uh-huh. tiles set up across the, like each one. Oh, and he's then trying to have, bounce the balls between the tiles? He's trying to bounce the balls and bounce them, bounce, 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 bounce. And then they land in a cup. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen, man. Like these people will sit there for hours just watching people bounce these balls. This guy had over like 30,000 people watching him on TikTok just bounce balls into this cup for over, for like an hour. Just like he just sat there and bounced and bounced and bounced and he's talking to them on this. He's got his phone set up. He's got like a video watching him and he's just like talking to people while he's bouncing balls. And he's like, you know, this will go. And when I get to a certain point, you know, we'll we'll, uh, you know, announce the I don't know. It was just crazy. I just didn't, I didn't know idea that that was a thing. Like ball bouncing, and it's a it's a like I mean, a I've, popular. I've design. seen a lot of those videos. I never saw a live one though. But that that does sound. I don't know, it's it's kind of interesting. I mean, because like I, I just think thought that, it was a trip, man. These people do this. Like, what's how the high point? were you? <laughs> yeah, I was very high. Um, and then I sent you a video last night. Um, I don't know if you saw it. It was a live video of a girl who was doing this juggling thing. It's the same thing. She had like a a ball. She had this table set up where it was like it was three-sided and it looks kind of like a like a u but the you know instead of the the um sides being straight up they're angled out mm-hmm. just a tiny bit yeah and yeah. she sat there and she was bouncing these balls and she was juggling juggle 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 and it's just i don't know man, it's just a trip dude like it's like the fact that these people do this how much time are they wasting bouncing these balls and i can't believe people sit there and watch them bounce balls like that's, like that's that what they old do letterman stupid human tricks yeah can you juggle i can juggle yeah i can juggle more just balls or other things oh i can juggle a lot of things (laughs) (laughs) like (laughs) what can you juggle (laughs) besides balls uh sticks i uh yeah my brother so my brother this is the history of this is my brother in junior high there was the the high school the junior high band was um the the circus was the theme yeah, of the yeah. band so my brother and two of his friends decided they wanted to do unicycle riding so they were the clowns of this thing so they rode unicycles and ju- and juggled throughout the whole like parade right that's what they would do and so of course me as a younger kid you know wanting to be like my older brother i started learning how to juggle and so like yeah man we wait we were, your brother learned how to ride a unicycle while juggling for a parade yeah yeah, he's <laughs> dude, it was crazy. It's, there was three of them, and they'd paint their faces like clowns, and then they would, you know, juggle and uh, ride their unicycles, and uh, you know, something that obviously, you know, <laughs> most I don't have the, I don't kids, have that kind of motor skills. <laughs> and most junior high kids like probably, probably avoid that. Luckily, he was six five. You know, he didn't get picked on a lot as a kid, or he's not six five in junior high. Actually, he was like he was pretty tall in junior high, though. So luckily, he didn't get beat up as you know. Other kids, <laughs> like, oh, look, I, check out the clowns! Yeah, the clowns are gonna totally kick your ass. <laughs> oh my god! Can you ride a unicycle? I cannot ride a unicycle, man. I was not, I was not into it that much. But the, the juggling sounded like fun, so I learned. And I mean, I was he was in junior high, so I was in you know elementary school at the time. So yeah, but I can still juggle. I mean, my kids still ask me to do it, and you know, I'll bust out the the juggling stuff and you know go to town go to town you got like a box of box in your closet that says juggling stuff on it <laughs> get the juggling stuff 
<laughs> oh shit! Watch this, Frankie. We're juggling. Some- get, the- get the juggling bu- stuff box. <laughs> oh <laughs> uh, yeah but tick that uh, like seeing those people on tiktok man you got to check this stuff out it's crazy um it's I, it's amazing that people will sit there and just watch people bounce balls all day long i told debbie i'm like i don't know why but i'm fucking in like so into this dude <laughs> like, i want to set up a course in my house and sit there and bounce balls like frankie came in and saw it and he's like dad can we do that and i was like sure we can do that at some point not right this second. He was like, let's do it right now, Dad. Go grab some fucking tiles and some balls and let's <laughs> do it. Get Dad, go get the juggling stuff box. <laughs> get the juggling stuff. Uh, no, but um, yeah, but you know, these TikTok people are crazy, man. I just, I, I couldn't believe it. I was blown away. And uh, dude, thousands and thousands and thousands of people just sitting there watching a guy. What, what other balls. odd talents do you, do you have any other odd talents? Um, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Which I'm one? Really, which one comes to mind first, Ben? <laughs> Jesus, I don't really have a lot of weird talents. I don't think uh, odd talents. I mean, just you know, normal talents, musical talents. Uh, can can I mean, you I, roll your tongue? Oh, I can. I can, and yeah. I can also flip my tongue. Can you flip your tongue? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> like I can spin it all the way around. <laughs> I can flip wonder, it all the way up. The wonder Debbie's so happy. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> she's listening uh, to this podcast right now going yeah he can <laughs> I got a talented yeah. tongue what can I say <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get through the rest of today <laughs> still I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, god damn it uh, I hope I don't lose dude I hope I don't fucking spiral out of control because I, I feel very like silly and 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 yeah. and and goofy right now and uh yeah this is <laughs> <laughs> just thinking of debbie just listen to this smiling <laughs> she's gritted and so like like looking off to somebody who's not there like not yeah i know <laughs> as my uh, man yeah <laughs> yeah so um dude i uh i listened you you've been you finally got onto the podcast bro yeah, I've done a few in the last couple of weeks. It's been, uh, been pretty fun. So I've listened to all of them. I listened to over, I think, over four hours of Ben Conroy on podcasts this week. Not it, not including ours. If you include ours, it's like five or six. So I'm sorry, um, bro. First off, let me apologize <laughs> in advance. <laughs> well, like the first thing I got to say, look, I would like to give my impressions of what I learned after four hours of you being interviewed. Oh Jesus! This is—I'm sure this is going to be great. Yeah. First of all, I—I I, I like you a lot, right? But I don't think I'll ever like you as much as Dennis likes you. No, I don't think anybody will. <laughs> I don't think. I mean, I don't think Debbie likes me as much as Dennis likes me. He, like he—he he seems like a cool dude who is like you know like some dudes are like you know, um, just born to be dads. Like he seems like he is just ready to be married and. and like have kids and yeah, do all the yeah. married guy stuff. Uh, but it, he seems like he kind of gives the impression that if he had a plan B, you would be it. <laughs> <laughs> like, honey, if this shit doesn't work out, I'm, I'm going to have to move in with Ben. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a love fest for sure, bro. <laughs> yeah. The but first, like, like if- I was going to say like the first like 20 minutes of the podcast, I swear to God, is just us, uh, you know, saying nice things about each other. It, basically, it was, it was that's pretty much like, yeah. If you look, dude, if you edited out all the compliments of that podcast, the whole podcast would be five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like a three-hour podcast. <laughs> but I started thinking at one point, I'm like, I think Ben's been catfishing me, right? Because I was like, I was like, he has like a real serious side and i don't I, i've seen it a couple times but usually when you have the serious side on you mute me right so you mute yeah. the phone so i can't i can't hear what you're saying you just have this real serious look on your face yeah. um but yeah i was like man i think ben's been catfishing me yeah no we got into a lot that on that podcast man we it wasn't just we didn't just bring the funny you know we brought you know some knowledge and we uh you know got into my past yeah and uh like no. the whole stuff about uh, the 40 signs Debbie painted and like all the uh, stuff about her dad I thought was pretty cool. 
Um, yeah. Oh, fucking Elvis. Seriously, dude. I can pucker your ass up a little bit. He's like sitting there sleeping with his eyes open, too. Creeping me up. Like, yeah, damn. So, uh, oh, fuck. But one of the thoughts, okay, so one of the thoughts I had uh, during, um, listen to this, right? Is that, like, like he know he knew a lot about you. Like, he, he, he clearly, you guys have talked a lot. And uh, wh- so one of the things I was wondering was, is do you need to know a lot about a person to be good friends with them? I yeah I don't know I don't think so because I th- I mean that I mean I think you learn as you go you know what I mean like I think that's the whole beauty of it you know right you you if you were to if somebody was like, you walk up to somebody and they were like okay here you go here's my here's my life in a folder you know what I mean like <laughs> here's, here's my montage of the last forty years <laughs> yeah here's everything you need to know about me right here like what the fucking fun is that you know what I mean like it's not fun you know and then I got to spend yeah. all that time reading and it's uh, frustrating like how many pages would my life story need to be for you to read the whole thing like is three too many or is like fifty too many I want the comic book version you know what I mean that's what I'm looking for <laughs> that's what I'm looking for <laughs> I, w- I want the brochure like a like. D- Double sided is fine, but no more than three panels. <laughs> Just give me the highlights, bro. <laughs> that's all. That's all I'm looking for. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, no, oh, I mean, right, we, so, yeah. The fun part is getting to know somebody. I think. All right, I, dude. I wrote down like the dumbest thoughts I had. Like one of the thoughts I had listening to these was, um, "Would you rather be respected or the guy that people want to have a beer with?" Which one am I? Is a question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I, w- I really want to have a beer with you, bro. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> uh, so funny. Um, yeah. Be respected or the one. I think uh, I think the beer one. You know what I mean? Everybody wants to hang with the beer, you know, the beer guy. That's the one everybody wants to hang with. I don't think it means like that, like if you don't want to have a beer with me, that you have to respect me. Or if like you want to have a beer with me, that doesn't mean you don't respect me. But, you know. I don't know. Like yeah. like Bill Murray, for example, right? Like he's a very talented actor, but I think most people would say they would just want to have a beer with him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, definitely. Oh. <laughs> Here's another one of my thoughts from for the marathon. <laughs> uh, you, you mentioned that our podcast does not provide value, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you feel like we need to provide value at some point. Uh, no, I mean we bring. That's the difference. I don't think I don't necessarily think that we bring the value of uh, you know anything other than entertainment. I mean that's that's the value I think we bring. But uh, um, yeah, as, as no, no. I mean I don't think we're solving world problems over here on this podcast. No. Okay. Good. Oh, and then, oh wait. And then, and then and then I think in hour three of listening to your podcast, uh, I had the thought of, is our podcast hurting our friendship, right? Oh. So like, meaning like 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 you know because like it's changed how we talk to each other, right? That's and true. like I, I I definitely hold back when I'm talking to you now because I'm like oh maybe I should talk about the podcast, but like the podcasts don't always go like I I think they're gonna go right. And we don't yeah. always talk about the things I think we could talk about. Um, yeah. It's not a bad thing. But then I'm like, well, now I'm I'm not sharing like these weird thoughts with Ben on a daily basis, you know. And I'm yeah. like, is is the podcast hurting our friendship? Maybe you know? we should stop. Maybe we should stop talking other than on the podcast, or just record conversations. <laughs> not to, like record record like just rec- fifty hours of podcast a week. <laughs> just make okay. Hold on, hold on. I'm hitting record now. We can talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's another one, okay? Uh, <laughs> in between, on my notes list, right? In between, is the podcast uh, hurting our friendship, right? And and the the next one note about it um, was, uh, would you be nervous to meet in person? Okay, I'm going to ask that question and then go back to what's in between those two. Would you be nervous? Would, like, Because like, we talk all the time, right? So like, I'm, yeah. I, I would like to come out to California. Obviously, visiting California is way nicer than visiting chicago but um <laughs> like not in the summer but uh yeah I was gonna say. W- would you be would you be nervous to meet i think maybe anxious i don't think i'd be nervous to meet you by any means but uh anxious i think is a good question a good way to put it yeah. um excited um but man i don't know about nervous i don't think nervous is the right term but yeah you know 
it is inter- it is interesting to think about though like to think the idea of like we've spent so much time talking we do a podcast and we've never actually met and <laughs> you know <laughs> uh, Dude, so in between all these notes and, and thoughts right um i had i had this one note uh distracting jim walking into the house pants falling off right <laughs> <laughs> so this weekend <laughs> so this weekend uh, you know, we went to, to Michigan and uh, we went with yeah. uh, my buddy Jim and his wife. And it's so it's the six of us with the kids and all. And uh, Jim and I went to this dispensary. Right. And on the way back, we got super high. Right. And we're walking back into the house. And uh, like as we're walking, I go I, like I was so high. I, I said, Jesus, man, I, I feel like at any moment my pants are going to fall down. And then I'm gonna trip over them, and I'll be too high to stop myself from smashing my face in. And and he was he stopped. It started hyperventilating almost. And he's like, "You fucker!" He's like, "I was sitting here talking myself up to walk into this house and trying to play off how high I am, right?" <laughs> <laughs> and, then yeah. we, and, then, and then he goes, "Did you say that shit?" He was like, "God damn it!" He's, he couldn't stop laughing. And we walk in the door like two stoners, right? Yeah, and so like it, it, like a couple hours later, uh, we got to go run to the grocery store, get a couple things, and we come back in, and uh, we got high again, and um, we're walking to the house this time, and I, I looked at him and I, and I go, "Hey man," I was like, "Don't forget when we walk in this door, play it cool, like <laughs> <laughs> don't act high." And he completely lost his shit, and I come walking through the door, smiling like, "Hey, how's it going?" And he comes in behind me, like somebody who who's who's almost hyperventilating from laughing. So, but yeah, we just kept getting uh, high, and then every time we walked in the door, I would completely fuck with him. Like the second before he walks in the door, and that way he just would come in like like a complete disaster. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because the easiest way to to fake how high you are is to to completely make your friend lose their shit of course, right, before of they course. see the sober people. So. And I don't and that, know who that, you're trying to hide it. I don't know who you're trying to hide it from. Anyway, it's not like your wife's don't know what's going on. She would probably be shocked if I came back in sober, to be honest with you. So Yeah, I was gonna say, let's be real. Uh, uh that's too funny. She she did she did tell me this last trip though. She's like, You gotta slow down on the buying weed stuff. She said, I think you've stocked up enough. Which is probably true. I, I've I, I have like a an apocalypse kind of scenario in my uh possession right now. So like if you know if things went to shit, I think I'd be good for a few months. So So you don't you stock up on things even though you're still currently using it like you won't buy you'll buy mul- multiple cartridges before it's empty well yeah one of them's so empty. actually what i've started doing is i have two cartridges now so i have uh a sativa in one and i yeah. have uh an indica hybrid in the other so oh, okay. like when i when i like if i'm you know walking the dogs and it's a couple hours before bedtime or an hour before bedtime with the kids like i'll I'll hit that because you know it's not gonna really it's gonna make me a little high and and i'm not gonna really worry about it but like if i'm sitting there and i just want to be high and silly and like i don't have to deal with kids like i'll hit the indica one because that one just is like you know roller coaster so yeah it takes you to the next level yeah, but I, I had this idea over the weekend that I need like a bandolero of weed pens, right? So that way, <laughs> like, like any kind of scenario, like a or like yeah. a Batman utility belt, right? Yeah. So like, yeah, oh yeah. shit, I, I gotta go into the office. Well, I I need that one pen because fuck, I can't talk to my boss, and you know, and then you know, you go to the you know shop, and it's like, well, I gotta focus here, so you know, I need a one that helps you, you with a ADHD, uh, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So that's, a, that's kind of a cool idea. I mean, yeah, different, I, different, different utility uses for each one. Yeah. So, uh, like, like, like the thing about the cartridges, in my experience, is that you the, the high from one to another is kind of like the buzz difference between like tequila or vodka or beer or wine, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, like sometimes, like, look, if I want to get loose, I'm going to do a couple shots of tequila and watch out. Right. Or if I do a couple shots of gin, if I drink some gin, like I'm probably going to be an asshole. Right. Um, you know, I drink bourbon. I might not talk to you, but that doesn't mean I'm not having a good time. You know, so. Yeah, no, it all affects you differently. So you, yeah. you, you got your, your certain things for certain situations. Yeah. So but you need a utility belt for that thing. You know, so I think so. 
I think so. Yeah. I think that should be the next by <laughs> Gelman. <laughs> the the <laughs> weed weed pen cartridge utility belt. Only twenty two thousand dollars with cartridges included. <laughs> That'd be cool though. I would I would like it. Oh man. Um yeah. I mean, dude, I had a blast, man. We had I had so much fun doing those those podcasts and uh yeah, it's uh Tiffany's was great. Uh Dennis's was great. You joined us on Tiffany's, which was awesome, which was like yeah. just like a surprise. Um, so that was fun. Oh, so one of the things you mentioned on one of the podcasts is that Debbie jokes around with you that um, you got into woodworking to start a podcast. Yeah, that's 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 the that's the thing she teases me about. And my my thought was, is that the most expensive way to start a podcast? <laughs> Like there's got to be cheaper ways to start a podcast, right? <laughs> there probably are cheaper ways to start a podcast, but uh, yeah, this is definitely not the cheapest way for sure. For ten payments of fifty nine ninety nine, you can get your starter package of how to become a podcaster. Yeah, uh, if, if yeah, you're yeah. spending five thousand dollars on tools, you can start your own podcast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, I think I'm close to the bottom of my list, though. Oh, oh, oh here's a good one. Um, what would be an unpopular opinion you have about the maker community. Ooh, unpopular right? opinion. Ah, geez. You're trying to get me fucking extricated from this, this community or what? I mean, um, honestly, I, I just want to see people come after you. Like with the torches and pitchforks. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, I think the people that point out things that are like completely obvious, you know, that like, you know, maybe you should have done this differently that, you know, it's like, come on. I don't know. I'm not great at pointing out people's flaws. Luke, stop putting me on the phone. <laughs> stop putting me on. <laughs> well, uh, look, look, this is, this is, um, I, 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 I started this whole list of notes. Uh, I put up there. I was like, right at the top, the name of this episode of the podcast could be, uh, the one where, where Luke confronts Ben. Yeah. <laughs> The one where Luke puts Ben on blast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Look, it, 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 I'll give you. I'll give you one that I thought of. Um, I don't like accounts that uh, where the person who runs the account does not show themselves. Right? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it, I, I'd say it's more of a pet peeve than than anything. Um, and it looks, I know a lot of people just um, maybe they're just not not confident or um they're not happy about you know showing themselves or they just maybe it's a privacy thing or whatever but like that's one for me i i like i like to seeing people's personalities it's interesting um when people come on instagram they want to show their stuff they want to you know be on the on it but they don't want to actually show their their face or their personality you know what i mean it's like and those accounts are probably accounts that um aren't going to grow as fast either you know what I mean? Because you know, I don't know. I see some of them, and they're pretty big, and it's like I'm, I'm impressed. But you know, I don't know. I just, I just, I just like seeing people. You know, that's, that, that's just my opinion. Yeah, so. you're a pre you're a people person. I am. I am. Yeah, like, yeah. But that doesn't mean I like all people. There's a lot of I, I don't like a lot, most people. So <laughs> I don't like <laughs> most people. Luke Gelman. I don't like <laughs> most people. That should be a shirt you get. <laughs> Well, look, you know, it, like, like I think I talk to more people than most people do, right? Yeah. Um, and and I look, and I realize that I have very strong opinions, and that um, other people's opinions are are their own, and I they, I don't always agree with them. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop talking to the person. I might not yeah. initiate conversation with them, but yeah, like I don't love everybody. So. No, and, and you know, and people are some people are hard to love too. Some people make it diff very difficult to love them. You know what I mean? You're, they're constantly <laughs> doing things that you're like, why do you just keep doing stuff like that? You know what I mean? Why do you keep putting yourself in that position for? Ugh, so frustrating. Um, like who specifically, Ben? Shut up, Luke. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop getting. <laughs> stop trying to get me in trouble, man. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I, 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 let's move on to the the last one the second to last one on my list um right. is a donut a pastry 
I mean, te- I guess technically I think it is, right? How the hell is a burger not a sandwich, Ben? <laughs> what makes a pastry? I don't know. I, I mean, I just assume a pastry is something that's baked, right? So a donut, um, no. Uh, so, so, so is a fritter is, or is it like a... Uh, what's a it, cupcake what's it? is a pastry. Um, See, I would think a, a cake. cupcake is a cake. I don't know well, if what the hell's a pa- what the hell is a pastry? I don't know what the I don't know what the definition of a pastry is then. I don't I don't know. I I, I, I guess that's I don't what know. it comes like, down I, to. I think of like pastries is like the stuff that you would see inside of um well, I guess like maybe a cupcake is a pastry. I don't know. I just I just assumed a pastry was like a a baked good. I no, you know what I mean? No, I thought that was just like a general term. I know for I like baked pastries, good. but I don't know if I know what they are either now. <laughs> I thought pastries were just baked goods. That's why I was like, "You're confusing me here." I don't I know. They I thought fried don- too. Fried pastries. Well, donuts are fried. They're not. <laughs> so, most donuts are fried. So is they're it, not baked. Is a deep fried Oreo a pastry? Oh. These are the questions that we will bring you answers to sometime. <laughs> you are so afraid to commit to anything today. Dude, if you you're like, if I commit that that a fried Oreo is not a pastry, you're gonna kill me this week. I, I'm getting I'm I'm becoming gun shy, bro. <laughs> People need to be like maybe maybe like everybody should be really nice to you for a week, right? <laughs> just to give you a self, false sense of confidence so that you can be, commit to some answers on this podcast, Ben. We, we can't I, provide I any th- value if you won't answer any of the questions. Well, this is not a Senate uh, hearing. Uh, <laughs> is a donut a pastry? That's going to be the next one. Ah, technical difficulties, bro. Ugh. This is a shit show of a podcast today, but we're going to get through it. This is it. I'm, I'm physically unprepared. I'm borderline mentally prepared and you're technically unprepared yeah dude we're having some serious issues but uh 16 episodes in shit's bound to happen look 16 episodes in it's only a matter of time before this whole podcast got a lot worse <laughs> <laughs> like we like like most we, people, we most people get, jump the shark <laughs> most people get better as they go along <laughs> we peaked at the very beginning we're going downhill yeah it was we peaked with that boat story dude that was it <laughs> but it's not oh, my goal to get better at this. I'll be honest. So <laughs> I can tell by the prep you do. <laughs> I really, really, it's it's it, man. I, I look, you know, it's like uh, <laughs> just laughing when you're like, "Hey, dude, you need to re- remind people that we have a podcast." I'm like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> it's part right. of the it's part of the deal." That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah, Maybe that's what we should do is get a um get shirts made that say, "I have a podcast." <laughs> That we do. We should probably do that. Um, ask us about our podcast is what it should say. <laughs> Maybe it says like, like uh, if I have a podcast, anyone can. <laughs> I can do it. You can do it too on the back. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! I'm gonna mute myself again. Uh, Jesus! It's only a matter man. of time before I, I cough something up that moves. I'm going to like cough up a phlegm and then it's going to hop up, f- give me the middle finger and then slime away. <laughs> uh, the, the last thing uh, this week is uh, Jackie has a new favorite thing to say to me and it's related to Bubs. She loves telling me and reminding me that's your son every time he acts ridiculous. Yeah. And I was like, I, and I, like I joked around with her. I was like, <laughs> but she was very serious about it. Right. <laughs> And, and I was like, and especially she loves reminding me when I'm like, Bubs, you're not listening to me, dude. You have to pay attention to what I'm saying. You're yeah. getting about 5% of what I'm saying here. And she just looks at me. She goes, that's your son. This is exactly yeah. like what it's like to talk to you. And I'm like, oh, son of a bitch. Debbie and I do the same thing. Anytime one of the kids acts up the, you know what I mean? I think that might just be a parent thing, but we do it all the time. Oh, that's your son. Oh, you know, your son did this today or your daughter did this today. You know what I mean? Like it's always, we always do. So, so like when they do that though, is it within your character to do the same kind of thing? Oh, most of Yeah. Most of the time for sure. Debbie, dude, Debbie loves to point out how, how like, you know, the kids are losing their shit or getting frustrated. Cause like you said, dude, like I'm a fun, happy go lucky guy. You know what I mean? At least that's the the side you see on the podcast. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> outside, outside the podcast though she's like she, 
You're just a you're just a miserable asshole. <laughs> I am, dude. I'm just like a fucking old curmudgeon old man, dude. So uh, she loves to point that stuff out, man. She's like, dude, you're you know, that's you, you in a you, nutshell. Do you make old man noises too? I, do you get up when you get up or do anything? Do you make that noise like ugh? Or like yes. any, ty- any type of movement, even if it's like the slightest movement that you <laughs> that did not like work that. It, yeah, it's like I, I do it. Yeah. E- e- regardless of how much effort it takes, I make that noise. Like, yeah. and and um, it's it's it, it's an instinctual reaction. And it's really funny to hear bubs do it, too. Like, <laughs> you're, like, you're five, bro. <laughs> Nothing yeah. on you hurts. Why are you making that noise? <laughs> Yeah, like I, I just saw you slip on your back on the stairs, right? Like, yeah. I would be dead if that happened to me. Like, you know, you were fine. So uh, I don't want to hear you complain that you had to get up. Yeah, but no, it's it definitely I, I do make it's like it, it's like I'm it's like your response, your mental response to being asked to move when your body's like, I'm, I was just doing nothing. Like, why would you make me do this? <laughs> yeah, and it, and it's like no matter how difficult it could be, you know, I could be, you know, doing something that takes a lot of effort or doing something that takes zero effort, but I still find myself making that noise. Same with the, you know, anytime I tie something down and I, you know, in the back of the truck, I always go, "Where are you going? <laughs> Nowhere." <laughs> uh, I thought so. <laughs> where are you going? Nowhere. That's right. That's the same thing I do every time. Uh, Dude, my sisters were in town from Michigan this weekend, and we were just like, oh, yeah. non- we were just like nonstop, man. Like we, it was just like, it's, isn't that funny how that happens? Like when people come to visit you, you like you, you feel like you need to plan all this shit. Like, the, like, wh- why do you feel like the need to plan all this shit? Right? They they haven't seen you in like years or like forever, months and months and months and months. And then when you get together, like instead of just sitting there spending quality time together and like talking and stuff, you have to plan uh, all these activities to go to. <laughs> I have no frame of reference for this because nobody comes to visit me. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Seriously, oh, well, you, everybody oh, I know is here. Family. Yeah, your whole fam- your whole family is there. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, because yeah, like, my whole family comes and visits us from Michigan all the time. You know, my brother will come out, my mom and dad will come out, all at different times. You know, so it seems like a you got to clean the house to a to a ridiculous point that like is unreasonable. Oh. Like it, your house is never that clean, but for some reason, when somebody comes over, you have to clean your house to that point. B you got to plan all these events that you would never normally do. Like me and Debbie would never go out and do anything. You know what I mean? Like we, we, we hang out here at the house. We hang out with the kids, but as soon as the family comes to town, we're going miniature golfing. We're going here. We're doing that. We're doing this. And it's just like, ugh, so ridiculous, but we were nonstop the whole time. We were at the beach. We were at the park. We were at miniature golfing. We, you know, they, they uh, went to, we went out to dinner like three different nights of the week that we, you know, oh, wow. um, yeah, it was just very active, um, which is funny because, like I said, we're not act, we're not like super active people, and I know my sisters aren't like super active people. But no, seriously, reason- <laughs> tell the truth. Man. <laughs> but for some reason, like we felt the need to like go out of our way to like be like super active and do things, and uh, I guess it's because you want to you have you want to have memories, right? You want to have those memories that you want to make those memories or something. I don't know, but yeah, uh, well, like when we so so like. Like people visit you, but we, Jack and I, we we go a lot of places. Yeah, and and when we're going with like uh, with just us, like like that Denver trip, like I did the same thing to my kids. It was like we I packed in as much as possible. Yeah, but yeah, no. Uh, so yeah, we were just like super active, and uh, it was fun though. We went miniature golfing. I haven't done that in years. Frankie and Penny, it was their first time miniature golfing, so they got a they got a blast. Uh, they had a blast. Um, Frankie only made it halfway though, around hole nine. Oh, he what was happened? Just like, he was just done. He was just like, I'm done. Like I'm just like, <laughs> I did. I had my fun. Golf is and stupid. Let's go. <laughs> he was like, Can't we do something else? And I was just like, No, this is what we're doing. <laughs> this is what we're here to do. <laughs> so uh, he basically that just sounds gave like up. something pubs would do though. Yeah, he just gave up halfway through. Um, he actually was doing well too. Like I was surprised he was playing, you know, playing pretty well for never doing it before. Um, so I, the way, the only way I could get him to stay up, like in, I, I was like, okay, you, now you're our, you're our scout. You know what I mean? You're our whole scout. So you go ahead, you know, you can go ahead to the next hole and, you know, scout the hole and let us know. So like he, that's what he did. So he was having so much fun doing that. He would go out to the hole next to us. And he was there people out. in front of you too? No, luckily there weren't. 
that would have been awkward. He's, he's walking the, like every hole. The, this abnormally large child comes walking up to you, and he's like just looking at you in the hole, like what's going on here. I'm scouting the hole. Don't worry. Don't mind me. Um, uh, no, but it was fun. Yeah, we had a blast doing that. Um, and then we went to the beach, and you know hung out at the beach and, you know, went in the water a little bit. And the kids, uh, you know, of course. I went to the beach, too. They just broke me down. At first, it was like, no, we're not going in the water. We're going to, we're just going to see it. You know, we're just going to hang out. And then, of course, they just, (laughs) they, you know, after 15 minutes of them, you know, Dad, I just want to put my feet in the water. Finally, I was just, I broke down and let them, you know, do that. And uh, just because I, we didn't, like, you know, it's not that I, I, if we were going there to go there and, like, spend the day and like get in the water and prepared and brought all the stuff, but we didn't, we weren't prepared. You know what I mean? Like we weren't like ready for like them to go swimming and stuff, you know? So like I felt, yeah. Yeah. But it was fun. And, you know, we had a good time. We had a, we, did I, uh, did I tell you, I don't like the beach. No, I did not. I was not aware of this. I'm not a fan of beaches. Is it so. because you're like the, 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 the swimming or, or the sand? Or what's it, the, what's it's the sand. It's it's well, you know, look, I like to sit in uh, on things that like like lawn chairs and, and beach chairs are generally not that comfortable. Um, and yeah. so I'd rather be sitting at a bar next to the beach than yeah. actually be on the beach. So, yeah, OK, I don't want to be a desire to, s- to go in the water. You want to be able to see the beach, but you don't want to walk in the sand. Yeah. Like, so we went to the beach, too, when we were in Michigan and. um and I was walking down the beach and like we walked for a while and I was like, man, this is a lot of work. Like walking in the sand, just, you know, you got to like <laughs> trudge through it. Like I'd rather walk through snow. Uh, yeah. Fat guys uh, like us aren't aren't big beach people. I don't think usually hey. when you go to the beach, too, you got to walk up and down a lot of stairs. You gotta no. do that, and then there's the whole like you know taking your shirt off in front of people, and uh, oh, that's not happening. Know. I don't have yeah. any people that get fucking freaked out. <laughs> like, holy shit, that's a hairy manatee. Like, fuck that. <laughs> I don't need that. Quick, get the net. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have a harpoon gun? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, so yeah. Is, look, I'm not taking my beach off. Uh, I'm not taking my shirt off at the beach, and I'm not running in public because that's the other thing, man. Like you see a fat guy <laughs> running in public, and and like you like like your your likelihood of car is like a car accident is equal to like a woman running down the road with her top off. You know, it's yeah. like people see a fat guy running, and they're just like, "Holy shit!" Let me grab my phone. Like, yeah, they're gonna. Stop he's gonna pass stare. out and die. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah, so that, that was cool. That's, that's my short list of what not to do in public. <laughs> <laughs> no taking off your shirt, no running. <laughs> yep, there it is. Uh, no, it was fun I mean, though. It was good. Borderline it was good. on that list is riding a bicycle. So, really, I love riding. I mean, bicycle. I like, I do, and I, I like rollerblading too. Um, <sighs> you want a pair of rollerblades? Helmet, elbow, knee pads, wrist guards. I, you're a wrist, you look like a wrist guard guy. Are you a wrist guard guy? <laughs> no, dude. No. I mean, like, I used to rollerblade all the time in college, and I had a sweet pair of skates. And, um, like, I, I, I still, I was never good enough to take the break off, but, like, I could skate back. I, at least I used to be able to skate backwards. No, I did try skating down some stairs one time, and I almost knocked myself out. I did knock myself out. Um, oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, in college. I was like, <laughs> Cause like I had tried it a few times on like like three steps, you know, where like basically I, I rode the brake on the Wait, concrete. Are you, ju- are you jumping the stairs or doing the thing where they ride down? To <laughs> that uh, thing? no. Well, I've done that before. I don't think I have the nerve to do it now. But I was yeah. doing this thing where like like on the side of the stairs there was like a three inch wide strip of concrete, right? Yeah, yeah. Like that supported the railing, and I rode the brake all the way down that right so like so but what happened was is that i was sliding down this thing and i'd done it a few times before but this one time i slipped off of the the thing and i f- hit the step and i fell back and i cracked my head on the back of the stairs and um i was definitely out for a minute so no no helmet no no because i bet back then helmets weren't cool so yeah, no, I get it. Um, yeah, now helmets are cool. Well, they're they're 
not only cool, cool they're they keep you from <laughs> passing out knocking on yourself out <laughs> No, there's a difference between passing out and getting knocked out, Ben. I'm oh, sorry, knocking you. yourself out. Knocking yourself out. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, I've had that's a lot crazy. of head injuries, which probably makes sense. It yeah. started at a young age too. I have a like you couldn't see because I have a beard, but I have a scar underneath my chin, um, and it was from when I was like three or something like that. And I was sitting on a table, and my parents were tying my shoes, or maybe it was two. I don't know. And they said I just kind of teetered off the table, f- f- chin first, and. Oh jeez. Yeah, yeah, you and, you and bleeding, Penny have and, the same you and Penny have the same scar. Penny has that same scar right there. Five stitches yeah. later. Well, no, my parents were too nervous to take me to the hospital, so they just let me bleed. So oh, I, I'd assume I was I don't I was too young to remember this, or maybe you know the the, the brain trauma uh I was is, say. is a racist part of it. And I can't <laughs> wait till my mom starts messaging me after she hears this. She's like, That's not what happened. Um but <laughs> Whatever. It is what ha- it is I've, what happened. I've heard the story told like fifty times, and every time it's slightly different. So, I, I, at that point, I'm just going to make up what really happened. Yeah, they pushed me off the table. Multiple head injuries. That doesn't seem strange at all for you. <laughs> you know, none of them, none of them were, were were super severe, but you know, my, uh... my, my my skull is definitely thicker in certain places due to smashing it. So that's so funny, dude. Yeah, we rollerbladed too. Like me and my buddies, we uh, we thought we were the, we just thought we were so cool. This is like, I, I mean, I don't know. We were. It would have been co- around the same time as you, like college years. We didn't go yeah. to college like you did, but um, you know, <laughs> so we all worked at Disneyland. That was our college years. But uh, no, but we all thought we were like, yeah, we thought we were so cool, like riding around on our rollerblades. We took the brakes off, by the way. We were. We were a little more advanced than you. Uh, we took the brakes off. Um, you guys were athletes. Yeah, yeah. I, used to, I used to wear like the the big baggy jeans to cover the <laughs> skates. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, like bell bottoms. Uh, yeah, like bell bottom ish. You know, and uh, we go nineties skate- version of hip hop bell bottoms. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like those '90s corduroy, those corduroy yeah. pants that everybody wore, like something like that. And, uh, Wait, was it like uh, cross color jeans or no, 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 no. mine? Yeah, cross colors, exactly. No, no, wait, cross colors. Yeah, yeah, cross colors. That was the or one. Jordash. Yeah, yeah. yeah Jordash. <laughs> yeah, mine had the big, uh, the big horse face right on the ass, right on the pocket. <laughs> the bedazzled horse that stretches across your <laughs> both butt cheeks. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, well, we used to, uh, we used to go. This week is a complete disaster. <laughs> no, this is perfect. <laughs> I was just gonna say these last seventeen a- minutes have been the best part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm if I could take a nap after this, <laughs> uh, um, no, but uh, yeah, we, um, we used to do. We used to go uh, skating all the time. Like that was fun, man. That was a that was a blast. I grew up skateboarding, you know, riding a skateboard. So like making the transition as an as an adult to rollerblades. I don't know. I felt like I had my head. I kind of had to turn in my cool card, you know, at first because I thought, you know, <laughs> <laughs> making the transition to the rollerblades from the skateboard. There was, I, yeah. there was definitely a moment when rollerblading like instantly became less popular. Yeah. Do you remember the movie? Do you remember like they, they tried to make rollerblading like really cool too? Like they were trying to like put out movies about it and stuff like that. There was like this movie called like. Um, Gleam in the Cube, or was it well, no, that was a, those are skateboard movies. Um, that was with Christian Skateboard. Slater. I totally remember that movie. Um, uh, no, it was like called Airborne or something, and it was like a, it was like this kid, and he like moved from from like the call. It was, I think it was like a Disney movie. He, you know, he moved from like the mean streets of Chicago to to <laughs> like Minnesota or something, where like you know there wasn't any it's basically street. the premise of footloose except instead of dancing it was rollerblading <laughs> yeah you know like he couldn't there wasn't anywhere to skate you know what i mean like where he went to his new where his, it was all country the, roads and shit those backward hillbillies thought he was just the devil on wheels <laughs> yeah and they were all into where he moved to instead of rollerblading for fun and being cool they were all into like uh roller hockey and stuff like that you know what i mean so he oh you know, okay yeah, so, so he, was, he he took his roller blading skills and turned it into ice skating skills, and then whipped him on some hockey. Is that, yeah, is that but kind of roller, story? roller skating, not not ice hockey. It was roller blading hockey, so or roller hockey. But yeah, and then at the very end of the movie, there was like a big race where they had to race down like the big hill, the snake run or whatever it was, and uh, you know, it was, it was roller hockey 90s. was. Yeah, I got. Maybe we should. Maybe we should watch that movie. 
Yeah, it's a great <laughs> '90s movie. I love. I do love '90s movies. I watched Speed and um, what was the other '90s movie I watched this weekend? Oh, Point Break. Speed and Point Break. <laughs> Both Keanu movies. Two of the best. So. I mean, Keanu at his best, dude, at his finest. I mean, if you would have just rounded it out with the Bill and Ted's, it would have been I mean, the epic. It would have been the epic uh, trilogy weekend the, for you. The part, I, the part that kills me about watching Speed again is I totally forgot that the whole bus part of the movie was only like the second half of the movie. Uh, well, I mean, no. I mean, he gets on the there bus a good, pretty early. There was a good forty. No, he gets. There was a good forty-five minutes before he hops on that bus. Really, I don't remember that. I guess I'm because, not remembering like, the whole beginning. Out, it starts out where he, um, him and uh, Jeff Bridges, right? Is it Jeff Bridges? Not Jeff Bridges. Not Jeff, Daniels. Well, Jeff Daniels. Jeff Daniels. <laughs> that would have been a One completely. Di- that would have been a completely different movie yeah. with the dude. <laughs> dude, I, it's like my, uh, Michael Keaton and Michael Douglas. I always get mixed up too. Um, you know, one of those Michaels. But no, yeah, so yeah. it starts out with them. Um, uh, the bomber was trying to bomb like, the elevator. Oh, it was it the elevator, right? Yeah, yeah I remember that. And then the after elevator, the yeah. elevator, but but like, dude, like it's like a good forty five minutes before he hops on that bus. You should before watch it again. Sa- yeah, before he meets Sandra. Yeah, yeah. No, I I love that movie. I was, I was when a big they fan. jump that bus over the bridge, dude. Oh, I was like so ridiculous. Dude. So <laughs> they were ridiculous. going like seventy, and it was like a fifty foot gap, and I'm like, there's was no <laughs> fucking way. And when you watch the bus, like it's the worst CGI, dude. It's just so bad, <laughs> so bad. Like they uh, couldn't even, like they couldn't even, like jump a bus that far, like that, 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 like mid eighties bus they're in. Yeah, like <laughs> so, uh, so no, dude, he's stupid. great in it though. Uh, Dennis Hopper, he's he's great in it. Uh, uh, yeah, Sandra Sandra Bullock's great in it. Um, Keanu, Keanu, he did have a bunch of mediocre movies but like i love those john wick movies i haven't seen I, that's the one movies i haven't seen of his i've never you watched haven't john seen wick. john wick no man i haven't <sighs> that is that is horrible well i you, I, you I, really I, you really need to see john wick i'll have to watch it i, I mean uh there's a lot of movies i haven't seen dude. I, I mean, I, I'm, three of them. I'm a movie guy don't get me wrong but there's just certain certain franchises <laughs> i've stayed away from um and not by like choice i just haven't seen them um like the john wick it, i haven't seen is Die Hard a Christmas movie? It's the only Christmas movie, in my opinion. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Let's be real. Yeah, okay. I don't, it's it's not Christmas until I see uh, Hans Gruber fall off the Nakatomi Plaza. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, why isn't there a Christmas ornament of Hans Gruber falling off the tree? I don't know, but that would be... Dude, we should totally make that. That's what we should make this year. You should epoxy something. Like, like, oh, like the dude. top of it's the Nakatomi Plaza, and then like yes. halfway down is Hans Gruber? Yes, <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. That would be so I good. If my wife would let me put a... I can 3D print the Nakatomi Tower, I'm sure. Yes! Instead I, of the star, you put the Nakatomi Plaza on the top, and then Hans is like falling off the side. Oh, God. That would be fucking great, dude. You gotta do that. Oh my god! I hope I remember. And the, <sighs> you got to have some sort of like exploding helicopter too, like on along on one side. Oh of yeah! It, like, oh my god! What about like a whole Die Hard themed Christmas tree? <laughs> or just just the topper? You know what I mean? You have just the topper. Like you'd make it so you just put the topper on, and it's like all the different scenes wrapped around it. You got the helicopter. <sighs> you got the tank, or the the, the you know the the, the what they what do they even call? It? They call it they call it an RV. But it's not, yeah. not a recreational vehicle. <laughs> so far, I, th- I just think that's so funny in that movie. We're gonna go. Oh. We're gonna go camping in this assault troop transport this weekend. Oh <laughs> yeah. uh, no, uh, yeah, dude. I have a, I have a Christmas book. I have I have to show it to you this year. I Debbie bought it for me. Like oh, we have it. Year. Oh, you have it. The the night before Christmas. Oh, okay. Yeah, my great. brother bought it for me. So oh, nice. Yeah, we read that. I read that to the kids every year. Well, which, every, which my brother is years. another one that isn't really on social media anymore. So, whatever happened to him, uh, dude? Like, is he still making his shoes? Uh, yeah, he he he. Uh, he it's not like a where is he now kind of a scenario. He just no, no, isn't no, 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 been... no. I just meant like, is he is he still? Because I remember you telling me um, a, a while ago that he had some issue with the, you know, like not being able to make certain types of shoes or. I don't yeah, know if you yeah, want like to get it. Want to get into this or not? <laughs> I just, I no, just he, he got he, he got he got he got he started um, managing um, Champ Sports. So 
Oh, okay. Um, he he's like he's like this rotating manager where basically when stores don't have a manager or whatever, they just kind of stuff them in there. I think they're training them to be like a regional manager or something like that. So, but that's like his dream gig, you know, to, to get unlimited access to shoes. So, yeah, I was just say because people aren't going to understand without context. He makes custom tennis shoes. That's what your brother does, right? The outside of I mean, his other day job. Yeah, well, uh, Jordans typically. Um, but yeah, he, he's he made he's made me two pair and they're sweet. So he he hates that I'm afraid to wear them. So. You wore them, you wore them only if the the Boba Fett ones he made you right he, yeah he made, I, I wore, wore them those. once so yeah and then I put them back in the box and I <laughs> put them on the co- shelf <laughs> like, <laughs> I like them too much I can't you know oh no so, I would do I yeah, yeah I'd be the same way he's been making um epoxy shoe paperweights lately and like selling them to people at the store so oh that's dope. Yeah, like in so the like shape of a Nike or something, obviously. Yeah, he has like a pair Jordans. of high top Jordans. So this is it. This is the epoxy shoe he makes. So he hand paints these, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And they got a leather sole on it. And so it doesn't really slide around. It's actually suede. And uh, yeah, I put it on the floor and it doesn't move around. And that's uh, I use it like as a doorstop. So. Do you do you does he make them all in different styles or just that one that one style? He only has the one mold that I know of. Okay. Um, but he has two sizes of it, but the other one's like tiny, like a keychain maybe. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. So he he makes these, and um, yeah, I think they're pretty cool. My brother's really yeah, creative, think, you know. So that, that thing's super super sweet, man. I would I would think uh, he could sell those eventually you know at some point when he's when he's ready i think people would be interested in buying those i think so so yeah yeah he, he his Bear. shoe shoe game is pretty awesome so yeah the ones that he, i've seen that he's made uh we should shoot him out is he still have his instagram is he yeah, still it's evil, evil shoe boxes yeah evil shoe boxes dude go check him out because he might, he does yeah. some really cool stuff my brother mike i like yeah. him a lot oh, you know for being I, a brother of mike <laughs> <laughs> that's great i'm no, glad you like him yeah but you know i mean i think most of the time he thinks i'm a dick which i understand so i I'm, i try to be a good brother but i i know i don't, I don't not always much, brother. like him this much yeah <laughs> i love, love him, him this much? i love him this much but he he, he likes me this much <laughs> so i know he loves me but he like his uh, doesn't always like me that you know it's, uh, i think like Look, you know, any siblings, I think there's, you know, different points of view on things sometimes. And I think that. Yeah, your brothers, brothers do that. Brothers fight. Brothers, you know, argue. Brothers, you know, bump, bump heads. You know what I mean? That that, that just happens. Um, but no, that's cool. I'm glad he's also in the making game, though. That's pretty neat. You know? Yeah. So he's making it happen. All right, you got any shout outs this week, man? Yes. Holy We're, cow. I can't because I, I, I got to get a glass of water or a glass. You're of fucking juice. dying over here. We got to get get out of this thing. Oh, so, uh, dude, who are your shots? Let's go. I wish I had a couch in my office. Um, uh, <laughs> okay. Um, I got I got two this week. Another big account or larger account and a smaller account. Um, uh, Ricky TV would be my first. Um, yeah. I love Ricky. He, he has such a unique style to an attitude um that he's like he's like a rock star in the maker community i mean he he, is he it's like he doesn't care or pay attention to how anyone else does anything he just kind of does his thing and the attention to detail that he puts into things would make me go insane i was i was looking at this old project of his where he there's like two projects he did that i was looking at and i was just like god damn man one was um he had made a donut wall for a like a donut shop or bagel wall or something. I know it's donuts. And yeah. he like hand cut and sanded and finished like a hundred wooden donuts or like a couple hundred wooden donuts. I don't know. It was insane. And then there's this other one where he took all these old records and he took a hole saw and he, he did a little like a one and a half inch rounds and he filled it silicone between them and made them into oreo cookies damn yeah no i remember seeing it's that crazy. one he's a he's really interesting his account's always really interesting to me and I've, I've never talked to him personally but i've been meaning to ask somebody who might know i could just reach out to him i guess but uh 
it's the thing he's always making like that storefront that he it seems like he's always making stuff for like a certain storefront or like does he have a storefront or does he i mean i don't know if it's his wife or his partner but um uh the it, i know it's her storefront she has a storefront and he's and oh, it's like okay. a, it's a retro thing but he also does a ton of commission work i forget what he's doing right now but it's like he's been doing all these yellow lightning bolts and it's just like oh yeah it's like a th- it's like a, like everything he does it seems to have like 8 million pieces to it and it's just like oh my god and he scroll saws most of them and or like he'll jigs you know like 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 you know he, he just he just does a really cool job with it and and I love his style and yeah so I, I think he's a really cool guy um yeah he's yeah. super super talented dude super talented definitely and check then, him out and then my small account of the week um is Alex Beck from Beck Makes um, this dude started hitting me up randomly, uh, and he, his account was uh, Gunner's dad because his son is named Gunner. Gunner. And uh, but then he started a new account called Beck Makes, and he he does a lot of mar- marketry marketry um, marketry. So he'll yeah. like cut out pieces on the, with his laser, and then he glues them all together. And he does really interesting stuff with epoxies and and like like he's just like on his own program and uh, he's a really nice dude um so yeah so alex is a great guy you should check him out beck makes so beck makes his, his logo is like white and blue and it kind of looks like clouds for when i remember so nice go check yeah. them out beck beck makes and ricky tv and the tv um, is t-e-v-e-e yeah exactly he, he's tv of course he has TV. <laughs> um <laughs> My shout out this week goes to uh, I'm doing two shout outs as well, but at the same time, and it's a larger account and a smaller account ish. Um, I'm going out for Lucas and Dre uh, Lucas at man made and MA, which I talk about a lot and Dre at crafts with Dre. Um, yes, they are all also my partners in crime on my live that I do on Thursday nights for the in shop live. But the reason I'm talking about them this week is because they were at make 48 um, over the last weekend. Um, and it was just such a cool experience that they were telling me about. So, uh, you know, they got to do all the, um, they're on the build team for May mm-hmm. 48. So basically all these people come up, these four and these teams all come up with ideas for what they're going to invent or create. And then yeah. Lucas and Dre and all these other makers like Andy Klein and all these people who are a part of this, they're the ones who are actually, you know, creating this stuff so it's really cool like i facetime with lucas while he was there and he kind of walked me around the space and showed me all the um different workshops and stuff and all the bit all the stuff going on and uh anyways that was really cool um they had a lot of they had a really good experience at that so i thought i'd shout them out and that's gonna be actually they're, they're they film it and it's gonna be a tv show i guess on the really? roku yeah it's like gonna be on pbs and it's also gonna be on some channel on Roku where they, it's like a making channel on Roku. Great. I don't know what it's called, but another figure that friggin out. show I want to watch that is, is not available to me. I know Roku, I, I, you know, you know, who Joni Sprague is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so Your friend she, Joni Sprague. Yeah. yeah my, my, my buddy. Um, <laughs> she had a show um, with, I think the girl from one of the, the daughter from blackish, I think is who it was. Oh, okay. And um, I think it was like on Discovery Plus or something. Yeah. And I'm like, God, man, I, don't, I, I just don't have that, man. It sucks. Yeah, I don't. There's all these little streaming services. I know Roku is not a, a small streaming service. I know it's a big re- streaming service, but I don't know anybody who uses Roku. I hear people talk about it. Um, so, yeah, Dre and Lucas are my shout outs. Um, and they also dude, they they lost their cat this week. <clears throat> They Their did. cat Finney was disappeared for like three days, and they told me this. I mean, I went into this. Lucas told me this whole story about everything they tried to do to find the cat and get the cat, and it was just like extreme to an extreme level for people. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't think me or you would have gone to that extreme level to to find try and find this cat, but uh, they went over and above, and they finally uh, it came back, and not I think from you underestimate my my fear of losing a pet i don't know man they, they would you go out to i mean they bought extra ring doorbells just to put around their house just to see if the cat was around they went out and got a cat trap from a local cat uh local uh um 
pet rescue thing. What is a cat trap? They went. It's a non-kill cage that you put out in front of your house that entices the cat to come in there somehow. But it's a big cat like with trap. Music I don't know exactly. food. I, I guess <laughs> a little party, a little <laughs> disco light in there. Yeah. You're trying to entice. <laughs> come on, kitty. <laughs> Uh, there's your there's your new ringtone. <laughs> Come on, kitty. Come on, kitty. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> We're gonna have to get a clean recording of that. Um, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so they lost their cat for like three days, um, and all the stuff that they did to get the cat back made no difference. The cat just showed up by itself three days later. <laughs> was it like they, like looked like it got like was it was it okay? Yeah, it was fine. They said it was like no worse for wear. Yeah. Like they, I, it was probably just hiding in somewhere outside their house, and they just couldn't find it. But um, Dude, it's not like it yeah. went on some big cat adventure. I don't think. <laughs> I, I think that's something cats do, like a cat room springer or something like that. You know, or like they just gotta go like on a walkabout. You know, and yeah. find themselves because like it happened. It happened to my friend and her cat, and uh, like we were looking for this cat for a couple days, and then like one day it's just right there at her door. Yeah, our cat disappeared for <laughs> the cat that we have currently, uh, Dizzy, that we've had. She's 20. She disappeared for like a week. We thought she was gone. And then all of a sudden, she just showed up one day. And so the cat's the same that, cat, I mean. right? That was same cat. like another another similar cat that showed up. And you're like, good enough. That's <laughs> <laughs> eh, <it's> close enough. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. So Dre and Lucas, glad that you found Finny. And uh, that's awesome. And uh, make forty eight. So good, good, good on you guys, man. That's those are my shout outs for the week. So way to go, bro. Um, yeah, yeah. I think we killed it. I think we killed it. Um, oh, I think I am dead. Um, all right, Patreons. Wait, some, yeah. Yep. Hold on. All right, Patreons. <clears throat> there we go. All you right. You just wanted to say it. You're, you just wanted to say it yourself. You didn't want me to say it. <laughs> You're like, hold on, hold on, hold on. You Patreons. <laughs> You, you've given me so little response. Like you, you treat me on this podcast sometimes like how I treat my kids. Like I'm just gonna give you enough responsibility so you don't fail and to build up your confidence. You're like, <laughs> so all I need you to do, Luke, is read just the read Patreons. the damn Patreons. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. Uh, all right, all right. So okay, uh, thank you to our Patreons. Uh, we love all of you guys, especially Kyle Foot from Footwork Woodworks. Matthew Gerard from the Wooden Mustache, Lee O'Man, oh, uh, oh man, from Regal Street, uh, Big Mike Holmes, yeah, for Broken, Broken Legs. Woodworks. Sorry for making fun of the way you talk, bro. Um, <laughs> Dave Wirt uh, from Rustic Joy, uh, my mom uh, at Elise Gelman, um, Tim from Tur- Turkworks, uh, Dave the Thriller Miller. From D Miller Designs, <laughs> and, uh, uh, and I think I don't know if we had this one last week or not, but our newest one is Billy Estes from Simple Woodco. Yeah, my man Billy and, from Texas. Yeah, and still not a Patreon for 16 episodes now. Trevor Davies from We're there Not Going to go. Mention Your Account. So he lives in Idaho. <laughs> I can anyone message me, and I'll give you his home address and phone number. So. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Trevor. Uh, thanks, Trevor. We did not support us financially. <laughs> Look, I don't know if he smokes weed or not, but sometimes he says shit that makes me think he does. Um, where he was, he said that he was like, you know how everybody talks about how um, uh, the, the 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 little feet on cutting boards, right? Oh, he, yes, yes, yes. And he was like, I think you should make feet for cutting boards. <laughs> you ready to like, print feet? Yeah. Well, so I what I thought was like, oh, you mean like. Like because they, they have they sell this um, flexible PLA, right? Um, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, wait, so like I use that to three D print a foot that you would screw onto the bottom of your cutting board, so your cutting board would have actual feet. You know, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, and he was like, no, but that's genius. Um, <laughs> he just thought uh, like uh, 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 those like the stands that I make. So yeah, 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 I think you should make little rubber feet, little actual three <laughs> D printed feet. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was way more entertaining. Way. So, yeah, yeah I'm, that'd be great. You know, I'm, I'm starting to get through a lot of the, the PLA I have, so uh, and I'm starting to run out of a few. So maybe I'll. I, I want to buy the one that um, has wood in it, and I want to buy the flexible one. So, 
Ooh, the one that has wood in it sounds kind of interesting. That's yeah, you, you can like sand it like normal wood. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. All right. Well, dude, thank you guys so much for uh, being our Patreons. And uh, if you guys want to be a Patreon of this uh, fabulous podcast, feel free to uh, click the link in the description at the bottom of each one of the episodes and uh, go over there and uh, choose a tier to support us at. And uh, we'd really appreciate that because, uh, you know, he's talking about you, Trevor. Thing. <laughs> we want to grow this thing. And, uh, you know, the more help we get, the better. So uh, thank you guys so much. Um, also, guys, if you guys can leave us a review on pod- on uh, any of the podcast platforms that you listen to this on, Apple, Spotify. And if you leave us a review on Apple, we will read it live here on the podcast. So uh, go ahead and do that. We'd really appreciate that. Yep. And then yep, just get share any reviews? No, no, no new reviews this week. But uh, when we uh, – I will, I will keep checking. I will keep efforting. And uh, so if you guys want to leave us some reviews, we'd really appreciate that. And then, uh, like I said, you guys could just share this thing. Share it amongst everybody. Share yes. it to your friends and family. Yeah. And uh, even share it to people you don't like. Just send it to them. So anyways, yeah, that's a little housekeeping for that we do at the end of every episode, guys. So I uh, appreciate you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for uh, sticking around through this shit show. And, <laughs> Dude, and I hope next week you feel better, man. I hope next week you feel better. Dude, this is either our best podcast to date or our worst, and 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 I won't know until I listen to it. So we won't. <laughs> uh, we should get out of here on this. Balls, balls, balls! Take it away, Tim. Uh, this has been a Command Creative production. Text us anytime at nine zero eight seven six eight. 2664 or send us a message on our Instagram The Jointery Podcast You can find Ben at Condorosa Creations or Luke at Luke in the Garage Everywhere that social media is sold That's Garage, not Garage Say it properly <laughs>